Steve, with COVID-19, I believe our lives has been changed upside down for the last one month now, and we don't know where we're going. So in that sense, uh, I know that a lot of people are saying have a routine uh, if you're working from home or do other exercise, go out, be positive mind. What have you seen from your uh, communication with your colleagues that people can do during this pandemic time and how they can stay positive? Yeah, th th doing exactly what you said. Uh, I would also add, uh, building your gratitude muscles. <clears throat> be very intentional about being grateful. And, and that doesn't, when, when I say that, <clears throat> excuse me, when I say be grateful, it doesn't mean be grateful for COVID-19 or that you have maybe lost your job or, but in what I'm saying is in the situation you find yourself, ask yourself, what am I grateful for here? And what you will start doing is you'll start noticing the good that's around you, if you haven't. Because when you first ask the question, you might say, Steve, there's nothing on my gratitude list, right? It's my family's the only thing I'm grateful for, or whatever the case is. I'd ask you, come right back into your work situation and ask you, what am I grateful for in this situation? And, and the beautiful thing is, is when you ask your brain that question, even if today you write nothing down, your brain's still thinking about it. And tomorrow when you come back to that question, oh my goodness, I've got something I can, and you start noticing the good. And guess what happens when you're able to see the good? You're able to tap into those resources, right? Mm -hmm. To be able to help you deal with it. And it, it really helps you make, change how you make sense of a situation because you kind of think, let's just talk a little bit about mindset here because our mindsets have been knocked off kilter more than at any other time. And as HR professionals, as leaders in your organizations, your people are looking to you for certainty, for, uh, for hope, for clarity. They're looking to you for all these things and some things you can't give them. But for you to be able to, to, to do that as best you can, is, this is when you need to be in that positive frame of mind more than ever today. And so it's really, you know, being able to notice the good that's around you and, and, and really change how you make sense of it. Because, you know, this, this situation of COVID-19, you know, at the, at the extremes, you could kind of say a mindset, optimist, pessimist, we put them in the exact same situation. Yeah. They see things very differently, don't they? And so really what gratitude will do, you know, it just, even at those two binary extremes of mindset, it's going to bias you to seeing things more from an optimistic perspective, which is going to help you solve the challenges and problems that are before you, whatever it is, whatever it is, all things being equal. And is it important to have like a gratitude journal every morning? So when you wake up, you think about that and then that will lead to your day. It, it is important to, to somehow record what you're grateful for. And right now, you know, with science that's out there, uh, we don't know whether it's better in the morning, at night, at noon. Mm -hmm. I, my advice and guidance to people is pick a time that works for you. Um, I do mine at night. I read other people's gratitudes in the morning. So I have, a, you know, a pretty rigorous routine around it. Um, but I also, I, I record them. I don't just think of them mm. by, you know, recording them in an app or on a computer or somehow or writing them down physically in a journal, as you suggest, Mahar, mm. you involve another um, sense in the, like right, by physically recording it. And that strengthens the neural pathways in your brain. And it has a greater impact on your overall mindset by recording it. So I do it once a day and every now and then, you know, I'll, I'll do it more than once a day, but the recording, I do that once a day. And uh, so that is, that is the fundamentally uh, most research proven technique to strengthen your mindset is making a gratitude list. And do you think that people should continue to do this, even if there's no COVID-19, like even if we go out back to our normal life or whatever it's going to be like to have that continuing, right? Um, yeah, so like if, uh, if someone's training for the Olympics and they want to be the best in the world at what they do, do they go to the gym once, you know, when they, <laughs> or do they continually work out all the time? I have been making a gratitude list every day 
I'm going to say 15 years. I can't tell you the last time I missed a day. Mm. Um, but if you miss a day, don't beat yourself up. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's something that we want to do all the time because the time to build a gratitude practice is when you don't need it. Mm. Right. Yeah. And it's times like this is when you need it. Cause as you, as you continue to build it, you think of it, you really strengthen your ability to, uh, to be resilient and to get through times like this. And so that it's there when the next, not COVID-19, whatever the next challenge is, because you know, life is going to deal you challenges. Yep, I totally agree. Again, thank you for sharing that, Steve. And again, for the audience, if you have any other methods of gratitude or staying positive, please leave it in the comment section. Like and share the video, subscribe to the channel, and tune in tomorrow for my final question with Steve.